Peace. It's the main event. Hip hop families just talking shit. Best podcast for hip hop knowledge and more. Read this right quick, and I'll get right back to you. Now let that sink in for a minute. What he's talking about is his recent performance with him and Redman at Summer Jam. Summer Jam used to be a very iconic event for the summer. Hot 97 throws it every year. I think first week of June. I think the first Sunday of June. And this year, Red and Meth is on a bill with younger acts like Doji Cat, Sleepy Hollow, Sexy Red. They don't fit that. They didn't fit that. So, in general, like he says, don't ever invite me to this ever again because I'm not doing it. The, the gap is a gap. Now, that's the reason why I do my podcast. That's the main reason why I do my podcast. It's two reasons also. To spread that knowledge and revamp our brain cells for the old heads. The young cats, they don't want to they know this. They don't know their history. They don't know their history. But I'm here to teach your history. I need to know about the elements of hip hop, the way of life of hip hop. Because I bet you average the average MCs out right now, they don't know the first thing about one element of hip hop. That's facts. So he's like, yo, don't ever invite me to, to Summer Jam ever again. Thanks, but it's not the same. I noticed that a couple years ago, I think the locks brought out Wu Tang. The crowd, they got a little little buzz, but not like like, like the Wu-Tang Wu-Tang because it, it's, everything is different but like I said if you would tune into the best podcast for hip hop knowledge and learn that knowledge you would see what I'm, what, what I'm getting at one of my close friends says yo it's going to be hard to get to the youth like I said by any means necessary I will get my point across to this youth they need to know about the culture they need to know that's, that's, that's it so I have a quick idea. Maybe next year, y'all should have 10 acts, five old, five new. Just a thought. Or have it, or they also start having collabos between the old and the new. You need to, that's how you, the only way you're gonna bridge this gap. You start doing more collabos with each other, old and new, by the time Summer Jam come up, they have songs together, both day audience will be there. That, that's a start. Just a little food for thought. Then somebody told me, can you please stop talking about old school hip hop? No, I can't. The reason why is every day somebody DMs me or another day or whatever, and they say, thank you for teaching me about hip hop. I'm 22. I learned so much today off your channel. Or somebody might say, yo, I'm 48. I didn't remember that. Oh, I do remember that, but thanks for reminding me again. Oh, I didn't know that. Each one, teach one. I'm still learning about more stuff today. I just found out real quick. Peak Rock produce the bitch in you for common. See, you learn something every day, you pay attention. Knowledge is free, but you still have to pay attention. That's it, man. I'm the hip hop analyst. Bridging the gap, spreading that knowledge any of these necessary get in tune to the best podcast for hip hop knowledge and more nothing but positive vibes over here the culture needs to be taught and I'm here for that once again I'm the last airbender taking your ears to a whole nother level stay in tune to the best podcast for hip hop knowledge and more and once again peace out to my true hip hop heads peace out you know how I am already, the hip-hop analyst, main event, just talking shit. Peace.